In this video, I am going to show you how to reload a standalone Cisco switch in three different ways. And then I am going to show you how to reload the switches in a stack environment. Say I have a two stack switch here. I am going to so show you how to reload uh, the slot number two and slot number one and the entire slot, the entire stack in the stack environment. And I am also going to show you how to do this, uh, the same kind of thing in the packet tracer because if you don't have a real switch, you may want to use the packet tracer to get a feel of a, a Cisco switch environment. So let's start with the standalone switch here. So let me go here. This is my uh, switch. This is a 3750-12S uh, fiber uh, switch. Here is the, the switch. The first way of reloading a switch is just a hard reload. So that means you have to unplug the power cable and plug it back in. Because in most of the Cisco switches, you don't see the power button. So that means you cannot turn on and turn off using the uh, power button. It just, you have to unplug and replug the power cable. And the second way is, so before we move on to the second uh, method is, Make sure you log into the switch and do a write mem. Say I have a switch here. This is what I'm going to reload. Say you do write. That means you just write the running config to the startup config. So you don't lose any configuration. So that's always the best practice you have to do. The second way is you can time the reboot. Say reload reload and I'm going to do at and look at here so you can specify the time what time it's supposed to reload say if I say 144 so it says the reload is going to happen in 33 seconds so I will confirm that and uh, let's wait and see it reloads in 33 seconds so let's I'm going to pause okay if you see here just it shut down now so it is the switch is now reloading so you know how to program this reload say if you don't want to reload in the middle of the workday, say if you want to reload, uh, say midnight, uh, one thirty or 2 o'clock, uh, it will be very less interruptive for the, the work. Uh, so you can program the re reload in uh, such a way uh, it doesn't impact uh, the work hours. So I'm going to pause again and I'm going to come back when the switch reloads you see here it says waiting for stack master election even though it's a single switch uh, it's technically called as a uh, a stack with a single member that's why it's doing a stack master election and then it's going through the process and then uh, waiting for port okay so i think it's is almost done okay yeah it's complete now okay so look at the show version so this is where this is the way you you can look at when the switch rebooted and uh, how long the switch is up the reason for the reload so if you see here um, uh, here uptime is one minute system return to ROM by power on uh, and then 
Now let me see whether it has a reason for the reload. Uh, uptime by power on. It says just uh, power on. Let me see if there are. Let me go down and see whether it says the reason for the reload. Yeah, it did not tell me the reason for the reload, but it tells me system return to RAM mode by power on. So uh, initially you saw it's power down, so it's powered on. So it says just, uh, you know, uh, return to uh, returned by power on, all right? So, yeah, I wish uh, it tells the reason uh, somebody rebooted the switcher by uh, console. So, all right. So, and let's move on to the, let's look at a little more detail in this uh, uh, re reload at. Uh, so, you know, we uh, define the reload uh, this way just uh, before the reboot. And then what I want to tell you another thing, I saw an interesting video somewhere. Uh, it says you can say reload, reload in delay before reload. So minutes, hours, minutes. So say, uh, so I would say five minutes. Okay, reload scheduled in five minutes by console. So, um, so what is the if, if you see here shut down in five minutes? Um, so what is the reason uh, you can uh, you have to do this way? Say you want to reload the switch in five minutes. So uh, think about a scenario when you do a configuration. Uh, say uh, you are afraid uh, the configuration you are doing. Uh, might uh, shut you down uh, from the switch uh, SSH remote console. Uh, if that's the case, you will lose the access permanently. And then you have to go uh, to the uh, switch closet physically to get in uh, uh, the console to log into the switch. So that's, uh, that's not a good way to do this. Uh, uh, reload or do the configuration. Um, uh, in that case, what you can do is you can issue a command like this, reload in 5 minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes, depending on how long you think your configuration is going to take. And then what will happen is, uh, even though you lose access, the switch will reload in 5 minutes and come back um, so you can uh, access the switch using SSH again, as long as you don't save the configuration that caused you uh, the connectivity loss at the first place. So this is the best way, you know, um, to do uh, uh, reload if you are working on a critical configuration. All right, so let's uh, look at the other one. Uh, other one is just type reload. When you type just the reload, uh, just hit enter to confirm. This is an immediate reload. And you see, um, I have no response to my keystrokes. So that means it's starting the reload process. So just wait a few seconds. Okay. It's uh, started the the reload uh, process. Initializing flash is going to move on to the it's going to progress the reload. So it's reloading now. So let's move on to the uh, stack reload configuration. Let me go and change the console cable quickly.
All right, so I change the console cable to the next uh, uh, stack. Show version. And let's see. My stack came up properly. Yep, uh, my stack came up properly. So I have two stack switch here. Show switch. And you can see the first one is a master, second one is the member. All right, so let's reload just the, the member, right? Uh, reload. You see here slot, slot one to nine. Uh, you know, uh, Cisco switch stack can have maximum of nine switch. That's why it says one to nine. So I'm going to reload just uh, switch number two. Uh, it's going to, I'm going to confirm the reload process. Yep. So it, if you see here, switch to reload. And uh, I think my console cable is in switch two. So I move, I need to move that to switch one. Okay, so I am in the switch. So, so switch. If you see here, it says switch to got removed, but it's just reloading. And when it come back, uh, you will see it will be ready. So let's uh, wait for a second and uh, come back when the switch reload. So while we are waiting, let's open up my packet tracer and then start uh, that part of the reload. So let's go to a switch. And let me grab uh, this one, uh, 3650. And you know it's a modular switch, so I need to grab a power supply and then put, put it here. Okay, now I should be able to see the switch reload. Switch boots up. Uh, okay, so it's a little tricky. Okay, uh, so let me see the CLI. So it is rebooting now. No. Okay. So enable. reload so if you see here the difference is uh, the reload if I go to my party and type in reload I have a whole bunch of options here but you don't get those all options in the in the um, uh, packet tracer, so it's because it's a you know minimized version of iOS. That's why you don't get all the option. But only thing you can do is just a, a reload. You cannot do a program uh, like a schedule or something like that. Reload, press, proceed, confirm. So now it's reloading. So let's go back to our party. And uh, no, no, no. Okay, I say n is enough. So switch, and you see here now uh, member came back, and now it's ready in the stack. But you can do the same thing uh, to uh, this number one also. Um, so what will happen if this goes down, 
uh, if the the master goes down this member will become as a master and then when this switch reboot this will become as a member so let's look at how that goes so reload slot number one confirm and I'm going to pause the video and come back when the switch uh, reload complete so while the switch uh, reloading so while the switch reloading let's look at let's look at um, the switch status so switch and if you see switch number two became as a master and ready switch number one that was a, a master before um, is now a member and let's wait for a few seconds and uh, come back when the switch reboots okay if you see here it says uh, progressing so that means uh, the switch uh, is rebooting and joining the stack and if you see here a switch one has been added to the stack and let's look at so switch and uh, right it's just all the ports are uh, become available and all kind of things and uh, so switch and it is ready however true is the master now and this will be the member even though the priority is high it will not be the master until the next reboot so now the switch reloaded let's look at so switch and you see here switch number one with the highest priority became as the master again um, hope this video is very helpful for you and i covered a lot of aspects in this video uh, so thanks for your patience um, please do subscribe like share this video with your friends uh, who is interested in ccna and uh, cisco education uh, thanks so much and i see you in the next video bye